Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to embed a Glog from glogster.edu on your WordPress.com blog. Here are the steps. First of all, when you sign up for your glogster.edu account, you'll want to enable or activate the free premium trial for 30 days. That way I believe it's easier to make your Glog public. So I'm logged in here. And here's a blog that a student has created for my class, which is fabulous, by the way. And you want to make your blog public. To do that, if it's not public, click Edit, scroll down, and then click Save or Publish. You're going to want to make sure that you have this public selected and click Save. Another window will show up and this window will allow you to directly embed your blog into a brand new post on your WordPress.com blog. Here's how you do it. You'll see this embed code. This will not work on WordPress.com, so don't waste your time copying and pasting it into the HTML view of your WordPress.com blog. It won't work because WordPress will strip out that code. However, if you click this little more button three more times, there's one, two, three, you'll see this WordPress button. You click that and you're going to go ahead and use your WordPress username, put the blog where you want to publish, or embed your blog, and of course your WordPress password and then just click post. In a very short period of time you'll receive a message that said your post is successful, item posted. Now let's go ahead and go to our WordPress blog. I'll look at all posts and it will create a post called Glogster. Of course you can edit it from here. So let's go ahead and click edit and I want to change the title of this I can even edit my short link if I want and just put in um, how to embed Glogster click OK and then I can just click here and hit my return button a couple times go up and I can enter my description and additional text here. I might want to add a category to this or some tags and I'll click update because it's already been posted. And then you'll just want to go and view your post and make sure that your blog is embedded on your post. So I'm going to go ahead and click view post and ta-da, there it is. Now depending upon your theme, your theme may cut off part of your blog. If that happens, just go back to edit for the post and adjust the size of your blog. If the blog is too wide, then just play around with the, the settings here. For instance, here's the width and the height. You might want to make it a little bit smaller in width so you can play around with that adjust it and click update that's it though very simple I hope you enjoyed this video